Well, the Commissioner, Andy Rowe, has tonight told Sky News that he is horrified by what has been laid bare in this report, put together by Nazir Afzal, who has spoken to 2,000 staff or former staff at the London Fire Brigade, and they have given him a catalogue of horrendous, racist, bullying, misogynistic behaviours that really uh, have festered within the London Fire Brigade. And some of the examples are just quite jaw-dropping. As you say, a mock noose being put above the locker of a bullied black firefighter in London. A Muslim firefighter who was being vilified because of his faith, who had a bacon slice put in a sandwich that he was about to eat. And then female firefighters reporting horrific examples of sexism and misogyny within the force. One female firefighter telling the report that you would actually have to gouge someone's eyes out to get sacked because everything else, in her words, was just banter. Tonight, as I say, we have spoken to the commissioner of the London Fire Brigade, who has been in post for two years. Andrew Rose says that he uh, commissioned this report. He suspected that there was a problem, but the level of the problems that have been outlined in this report have horrified him. They bring shame upon the fire brigade and that they need now to show real courage in facing this. And the kind of courage that, of course, firefighters show every day in their jobs needs to be applied to the change that is necessary within the London Fire Brigade. This is what he told me a short time ago. You know, it, it's a shameful day for the London Fire Brigade. I'm horrified. I know that many of my staff, decent, hardworking public servants, will be horrified by what they've read the most terrible examples of bullying and harassment. Um, uh, and this has to act as a catalyst for absolute change, and that change has to start now. The London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, has echoed those calls for change and has expressed his horror at the findings of this report and has backed the Commissioner to continue with the process that his role shouldn't necessarily be uh, questioned in, the, in this process because it is he who, after two years in the job, has uh, identified these problems and has now exposed them through this report by Nazir Afzal, who also uh, found that there were real deterrents, of course, to people staying within the force, if that is the culture that people are having to work uh, within, whether they are from an ethnic minority or whether they are LGBT plus or another uh, minority, someone who, for whatever reason, has been bullied within the fire brigade. And he also points out that while this is a cultural problem, it is significantly different, perhaps, to the problems within the Metropolitan Police. And as much as that this hasn't necessarily led to uh, misconduct in office, it has just been an appalling culture that has been laid bare. And the changes that are being brought about now will start immediately to bring about the kind of scale of change that is needed to address this problem that has been exposed so vividly tonight.